Hello again, welcome back to the farm. It's Sunday, July 21st, 2019. Today I'd like to tell you about one of my favorite plants in the garden, the cranberry hibiscus. This plant we received from a good friend of ours. I don't know where he received it from. It came in this bucket. We set it down in this area that gets flooded and this is how it grows. So everything on this plant is edible. The leaves, the flowers, it doesn't have any flowers right now, but when they come out, the whole flower is exactly the same color. Something you'll notice that I think is really neat is that everything on this plant is all the same color. Like in most plants, the leaf might be, or the flower might be a different color from the stem, might be a different color from a little baby branch, but here the whole thing is cranberry. Uh, you can eat it raw, but because of the angiostrongoliasis that we have here in East Hawaii, we cook it. So you can stir fry them and uh, they go pretty quickly like many other leaves in stir fry. You can put them in a soup. They give a really rich red color to whatever you're cooking and they do have like a little bit of a tartness of uh, cranberry flavor. So one fun thing is that, so this plant, they like to apparently lean back a little bit and then kind of grow over and up. And so I read that online and that's kind of how it lives. So as you can see, it's kind of like tilted a little bit and then it's come up through this plant. I actually have to weed a little bit, but it seems to be doing okay. It started out with maybe a couple of these stalks and now there's maybe like 10 or so. It's bloomed a, a number of times. I don't know exactly when it bloomed, but it did a great job. And I want to show you, come down here. Look at these. These are baby cranberry hibiscuses from flowers from the tree. I think probably pretty soon I should um, kind of gently pull them up and put them in somewhere else into their own spot. So at least we know that there's a pollinator or something happens and it's able to reproduce, which I think is really cool. Another last thing I wanna show you, I was weeding around this area, as you can see, it could use more weeding. I was weeding around this area and I accidentally broke a stem. I felt so bad, I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. So I decided to do an experiment and see if I could root it um, just from this. And so I just put it in this jar, filled it up with water all the way to the top and just let it sit outside in the shade mostly but some sun um and it's been about two weeks and let me show you how it looks on the bottom look at all of that so Marina, that, how many days has that been rooting uh 21 days no i made that up at least two weeks <laughs> i totally made up 21 days i'm sorry um, yeah, two weeks. And I've, I've heard some people use like rooting formula or something. I didn't use anything like that. It's just, you know, this is, this water has life bits in it, but this is just like rainwater that we collect that I put in here. So I think, you know, it's always a risk when you have something this delicate putting in, in soil, but, um, I think I will try to go ahead and put it in some soil. Uh, and hope that it makes it. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Do you have any other questions, camera person? Um, that's it for now. That's it for now? Thank All you. All right. See you next time.